Hi, and welcome to Fifi's Bookshelf. I'm Fifi, and every week I'll be reading one of my favorite children's stories that I want to share with you. This week, we'll be reading a book called Little Ant's Big Plan, written by Candace Dingwall, illustrated by Stephen McKimmy, designed by Telry Stoop. So get cozy and lend me your ears and let's get reading. Little Ant loved to read. Little Ant was often teased. Ants don't read. Ants must feed. Ants collect the food they need. Little Ant would read all day. He'd read and read the day away. The other ants took what they found to store for winter underground. His mom and dad got really mad, and little ant felt really bad. In autumn, when the leaves fall down, the ants must keep food underground. The queen wants food to fill the store, so all the ants must work some more. Little ant begins to shout about a place he read about. A restaurant is what we need. A place where people go to feed. It says so in the books I read. Quick fun facts about ants. There are more than 12,000 species of ants all over the world. Did you know an ant can live 20 times its own body weight? Hey. If a second grader was as strong as an ant, he or she would be able to pick up a car. The queen ants have wings, which they shed when they start a new nest. Some queen ants can live for many years and have millions of babies. Did you know ants don't have ears? Ants hear by feeling vibrations in the ground through their feet. Now back to the story. The ants go marching one by one. They march into the setting sun. And little ant said, Hey, there's one! The ants go marching one by one, carrying a burger, carrying a bun. When they return, the queen is glad. The stores are full. They cheer like mad. Ant gets hugs from mom and dad. His baby sister takes his hand. Now I think I understand. The way you love to read a book makes me want to take a look. The end.